He is, as we speak, the world's number one male tennis player. He's won 14 Grand Slams in a glittering career. It is the fabulous Novak Djokovic. <laughs> <clears throat> Novak, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's great to be here, thank you. Novak thank is you in town be because he's taking part of the ATP Tennis World Finals. He's on at the O2 here in London. It starts tomorrow, it goes through till next Sunday. Your first match is Monday against John Eisner, I believe. Yes. Uh, yes confident? Yes. yes, it's been a it's been a great season, mm -hmm. uh, especially the last five months. And you know, I, I grew a lot of confidence in winning a lot of matches in the last three, four months, so hopefully I can have a a nice season finale. Uh, you won your fourth uh, Wimbledon Championship uh, this year, which is amazing. Four-time <laughs> Wimbledon winner right here. Amazing. Of course, it's one of the four Grand Slams in the world. Which one of the Grand Slams is the Australian Open, the, uh, the French Open, yes. the, the American Open, the USA, and, of course, Wimbledon? Yes. Which, which one is your favourite to play at? Which one is your favourite to win? Because you won all of them, of course. Uh, it's not just because I'm, I'm in, in England right now, but it's, it's Wimbledon. It always has been Wimbledon. Um, I used to construct the Wimbledon trophy out of this, you know, improvised materials, whatever I found at home. You know, I was always dreaming to win that tournament. Can I, I interrupt? I, uh... You girls don't know this, but me and Novak actually played tennis together. Wow. Yes. Wow. Really? Yes, I've... I've Wait, did you don't play? play? You don't I've, play tennis? I've played with Mel B really and good. with uh, Jerry too. Wow. wow. You did? Yeah. This, oh. <coughs> this year. <laughs> oh. I'd like to ask, I'd really like to ask, who is the best player out of these two? Oh. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Yeah. Oh. Um, diverse styles. Come on! <laughs> That's a good answer. Um, you were the umpire best. on my match. I was amazing. An you were yes. really helpful. You so you I, didn't actually play. So no, I was playing, and he, and you, and he's the umpire. Well, we yes. actually played together. <laughs> <laughs> So I think I win on that one. No, we did play. That's not true. That's not true. We did play. We played afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about the yin and the yang. It's all about the this show, I think everyone will agree, has been amazing. <laughs> but the best, the best thing I heard about this show was in the corridor. I was walking down the corridor, and as you know, Jack Severetti is going to come on and yeah. sing with Carly, and Jack's brilliant. <laughs> and as I was walking, I heard one of the runners behind me going, I've just been asked by Jack if Novak will sign his balls. <laughs> <laughs> She had, had, she had, she had a handful of tennis balls <laughs> for Jack's children that he's been in for you to sign. I thought, just Same in that. isolation, that's the best yes. thing I've heard. <laughs> but I read something when I was doing, doing some training, somebody was giving me some stuff about mental, mental toughness. And I read a report a sports psychologist did saying that tennis is the hardest sport because it's the one sport where someone keeps telling you on every point, whether you're doing well or, or <laughs> doing badly. So the, the mental ability to be losing, and then everyone, you get beat. Yeah. You get beat. You're you know, still shit. Well, you get right. beat. <laughs> but it must, be even, it must be even harder when you get to those final points where you know, if I can, if yeah. I can win this and win the next one and keep my, my, my opponent away, then I've won the trophy. I mean, that, I imagine it must be pretty tough when you get into those final points to try and treat them like every other point. I mean, tennis, is, as many other sports, are you know, representing this, this kind of uh, challenges in life that we all, you know, whether we're athletes or not, we're, we're kind of faced with. So, so I think being individual, being by yourself on the court, but, you know, never feeling really alone, I think is the key as well. Because you can always turn around yeah. and you can see that there are people that are supporting you. As well. Yeah, of course. And sometimes course. your dog is there as well. Yes, I, I heard you like you like my dog. But Pierre. you weren't allowed to bring Pierre in the country for Wimbledon this year. Yes. I mean, let's have a look. This is uh, this is Novak with Pierre. This is Pierre's. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not the dog you expected, <laughs> no. is it? No. <laughs> what a sweet, what a sweet fella, Pierre. Uh, but you like having him around you. Do you, do you, um, do do. you take him to matches as well? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Well, I used to take him. I used to take him more. You know, with my wife, obviously. Now we have two. We have another dog. Wow. Uh, another toy poodle. But we What's have the other one's name? Uh, the other one's name is Tesla. 
Pierre and Tesla. Yes. Okay. And uh, and then we and then we became parents. So we have two children, and so it's. Uh, it becomes a little bit of a too much of a hustle to, to travel everywhere with and two kids. And do you prefer the it. dogs or the children? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear you. Don't you worry about that. Why do you wear a wedding ring if you're married? Oh, there's an eye of a single woman, isn't it? <laughs> 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 it's on the other hand. Yes, it's the other hand. Is that... It's the... Um, in your country. country. No, orthodox, the orthodox. orthodox, orthodox, orthodox. orthodox. Okay. Oh. Look. She's always... <laughs> I was like, I knew I put it on before I came here. <laughs> just I mean, for that, I love you, darling. Just right here. Yeah. Just don't make any jokes about the menopause, because you almost got crucified. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to show a clip of uh, Novak winning at Wimbledon just earlier this year, and there's an amazing thing you do at the end. I was at Wimbledon when you lost to Andy Murray. OK. Uh, <laughs> I, no, I don't, why I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember that? Why, why are you bringing bring that well, on? i tell you why. Because I'm a prick. That's it. <laughs> And I forgot, and I was just excited. <laughs> I was just excited. Okay, okay. That happens to me all the time. I say things, wouldn't you? Yeah. Why aren't you wearing a wedding ring? Sorry, <laughs> 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 uh, This is Novak. <laughs> winning women of this year, an amazing moment, and I love the, just the genuine reaction he has after. Amazing moment. So, I. I don't think I've ever seen anyone eat some of the cool before. <laughs> was that just to, was just to remember it's, the moment? You know, I, since I always dreamed of winning Wimbledon, I, I wanted to make it special when I get to that moment. Yeah. And, um, and it was never if, it was always when, because I visualized it so strong, I knew it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, the dream is going to be realized. So I, I thought, well, I might do something special. I didn't, <laughs> well, it's Wimbledon, you can't just like jump, scream, no. roll around or whatever. So I thought, well, I might as well just, have have a little bit of the grass. So yeah. it became a little bit of a, <laughs> a tradition, and uh, yeah, done it four times. You don't have too much of the grass because that will affect your plate. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, let's look at that. You know, you're in an enviable position, and you've earned this, of course. Uh, uh, you're one of the very few tennis players who've held all four Grand Slam titles. That's an amazing achievement. Over two other men, right, Rod Laver and, and uh, one other. Um, but also, you have won a total of 14 Grand Slam titles. That's amazing. Now, I believe there are only two people ahead of you. Yes. Uh, and one of them is in town. Roger Federer is in town. He has <laughs> an um, unbelievable 20 Grand Slams. And Rafa uh, Nadal has 17. Now, presumably, I mean, are those figures important to you? Do you focus on that and think, OK, I want to try and beat Roger's record? Yes. <laughs> You meditate as well, don't you? You meditate yes, a little bit? So yes. you... I'm really a uh, strong believer in visualization, in just, just imagining something that That's you really exactly want. That's exactly what I did to get the group back together. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I love there that Mel B's taking all the credit for it. I know, it's <laughs> um, <laughs> Have you yeah. ever had an out-of-body experience while meditating? Have you ever felt yourself drift away yes. from your body? Wow, what happened? I came back. <laughs> 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 I have to practice more. So, but yes. you did. Did you? Could you see your body from the outside? Was it one of those? Ones yeah, I kept, yes, it happens. I did it all the time yeah. too. Yeah. That's called getting drunk, Mel. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's. Um, I, I think it, it's 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 training. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just. I, I've had actually. I had once this kind of experience on the court. I've, that was the longest tennis match that I ever I was ever part of. I was playing against Nadal in the finals of Australian Open in 2012. Uh, we played five hours, 53 minutes. We, I think we ended up at around 2 a.m. Yeah. I remember it was, uh, it was a grueling match. And uh, after the fourth hour, getting into the fifth set, actually, we both, like, we were running on very low reserves. And in just one instant, I, I started to, to feel like there is some kind of a, a higher other force that is you know, starting to help me to finish the match. I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain that with words, so it's, uh, it was quite a unique experience. Wow, and you yeah. went on to win, of course. Yes, I, I went on to That's win. That's amazing. Yeah. You, you didn't tell uh, Rafa your secret afterwards? Uh, no, not, not really, yeah, I don't know <laughs> what, you know, I know what happened, but I don't know how it happened. Yeah. yeah. Who's your well, favorite? What, Spice player. Girl or no, tennis player? tennis player. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite tennis player? Is it... Well, right now is myself. 
<laughs> Novak, uh, I'm thrilled you came on the show. I've been a fan of yours for the longest time here, and I'm Thank sure you. we have many tennis fans in his evening, but to see someone play at your level, and the level of focus you bring to it is just amazing. You're an incredible player. Uh, so it's much. an honour to have you here, and I know we've all enjoyed spending time. Yeah. Novak Djokovic, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Amazing. Before you go, uh, you know, I play a little bit of tennis. I don't know if, Kylie, you play a little bit of tennis, Casey, don't you? When I was eight, yes. We know Mel and Jerry have played with you. I don't know, Emma, do you ever play any I tennis? I've played before. Okay, yeah. Nelsie, you play yeah. any? Sporty. I'm, I'm terrible at tennis. Would <laughs> so, you like to see the Spice Girls and Kylie and John try and take on Novak at tennis, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> so we've got a sports set up here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a knock up with Novak. Welcome to Knock Up with Novak. So we're going to round Ready. robin, which means I'm going to knock the ball over. Novak's going to try and keep them all in. If we don't go out, we, we can do this team. Do you yeah, think we can do yeah, this? Yeah, go team. Remember, visualise. No. Yeah. Positive. <laughs> yes. Okay, you ready, Novak? Visualise. 100%. Kylie's the umpire, by the way. Isn't yes, Kylie the umpire? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely yeah. serve. It's a beautiful return. Oh. Oh. We, okay, let's start again. You go for Now you serve, Joey. Let's see if we can yes. get one. She Come on, we can do, do a bit. You ready? Are you well, okay with the heels? Follow, We've got Who guys? Guys. Go. I didn't see that out. Carry on. Three. Oh, oh, oh one drop. Yes, he yeah. Three, one. Oh. Oh. I can't save. I can't save. <laughs> Team Elsie, she's smart. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Let me ask you, Novak, which of us showed the most promise out there, do you think? <sighs> Kylie. Kylie? <laughs> 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 yeah, fair. <laughs> While Kylie's getting ready to perform, I just need to thank all my guests tonight. Novak Djokovic, ladies and gentlemen. John Bishop, and of course, welcome back, the Spice Girls! <laughs> <laughs>